When you think about the past, how do you feel? Sometimes we become sentimental and nostalgic about the past. Things that were great while we were going through them. Maybe our childhood, happy days, happy school days, happy times in the early stages of marriage or bringing up families. Sometimes we idealise the past and uh, other times the past can haunt us. Things that we did that we are really embarrassed about. Things that were perhaps criminal activities, immoral activities, things that we are deeply ashamed of and wish to forget but can't forget. The past can both be disturbing and delightful. But when Paul thinks about the past, he thinks about God and what God's done in the past and how the past that God has enacted really outweighs our own past. In Ephesians 1 verse 4, he tells us that he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world. Wow, before God made the world, he'd already made decisions about you, about how he would relate to you and how you would relate to him. That's where shame can come in quite easily because when we consider our sinfulness in the light of God's holiness, it can completely wipe us out. But what Paul says here is that God who foreknew all these things and understood exactly how we would be, he chose us. He chose us knowing the things we would do. He chose us that we should be holy. In other words, as Paul uses another phrase, he predestined us. He ordained in advance the kind of people that we would become. Now, we can get philosophical about this and get ourselves into all kinds of confusion. That's not Paul's intent and that's not what God wants us to get into as a result of considering this point. The thing is that our choices, our free will that we exercise through life is trumped by God's choices and God's free will. He's got more free will than we have and he's able to do things that completely outmaneuver us. Our foolish choices, our sinful options are overthrown by the will of God, the will of God. God makes choices and decisions and God's will for us is good. It's good because he's actually ordained something good. We should become holy. We should become adopted and accepted in the beloved. He doesn't want us to be separated, going our own way. And so God has acted in a special way in the life of every Christian. When we were thinking about what makes us happy last week and the fact that God has blessed us, Paul doesn't just say that in some kind of bland, disconnected way, but he begins to detail and divine, there's, d devise. There's an inventory of the things that God has done for us. Praise God when we look back. We can look back beyond the mists of time to eternity and find that there beats the loving heart of the Father God who wants us and therefore he chose us in him before the foundation of the world.